Hey everybody, this is Andy with Patterson Adjuster Training. In this video, I'm going to show you a new tool that they came out with, which is a brittleness gauge for shingles. So this is a shingle brittleness gauge, and you can get these at Home Depot, Lowe's, um, I actually get, got this one at Harbor Freight. And so how these things work is you've got a sensor here on the front and you have to indicate with this dial, you have to indicate if it's a three tab or a laminate roof or shingle. And so what you do is you just put it down on the shingle and it tells you if it's too brittle to replace these damaged shingles individually. I'm joking, there, there is no brittleness gauge. This is actually a cheapo voltmeter. Um, I wish there was a brittleness gauge because that would make our jobs as adjusters and contractors so much easier. So in this video, I'm gonna go out and try to replace some ridge shingles on this roof. Now, the ridge shingles are not repairable because I end up tearing them. So what you've got on these ridge shingles especially on a 12-12 pitch. They're, they're draped over the, the roof like this, and then they're fastened with nails on both sides. And this fold right here, it puts these shingles up here in a lot of stress. And so over time, with just the wind, the weather, the rain, at this stress point, these granules just start flaking off. Then that allows the UV rays from the sun to break this material down, this asphalt mat, and it just deteriorates pretty quick. And so whenever I was trying to take these shingles off, I had my uh, crowbar or my shingle snake, and I was trying to loosen the nails, and I was popping the nails out okay, but when I went to wiggle it out, to manipulate it and get it out, it was so brittle that it tore. So let's go out to the policyholder's house and watch me try to do this repair. So there's a nail right there. One. one on this side. <clears throat> of course, I forgot to bring the shingles up. And there's one up a little further. This one's overdriven. This roof is not repairable. Ah, see? Ah, see? That one already tore. Sometimes there's a nail. So as you can see, those ridge shingles are not repairable. And so there is no brittleness gauge. What the gauge what the repairability gauge is, you have a contractor in a, in a good faith effort trying to go out there and actually doing a repair on that shingle, whether it be hip shingles, ridge shingles, uh, field shingles, whatever. They need to try to get in there with their tools and get those nails out and slide that shingle out, put the new one in. Uh, sometimes you can get those shingles out, but then you can't get the shingles up high enough to get your nails in there to, to re-secure them to the roof. Now they do make uh, the shingle snake, you put a nail in here and you slide it up under the shingle and you hit this top edge and that drives it in. But sometimes just breaking the seal, just breaking the seal on some of these shingles, they're gonna tear. And that's what happened on these filled shingles and I'll have another video for that. But I was trying to break the seal on them and then it just tore right across the top of the shingle. So if you can get the seal broke, then the next challenge is trying to get 
up underneath here to pop these nails out and get them out of the shingle and then slide them out, put the new one in. But again, there is no brittleness gauge. That was just a joke. I wish there was a brittleness gauge or a brittleness test. There's not. The only test isn't really a test. It's to actually go out there and try to replace a shingle. If it tears, that shingle is a representation of that entire roof. So that would not be repairable. You need to total the roof out. If you can replace it with no problems, then that roof is repairable. Now each claim, each case is case by case basis. Each situation has its own sets of issues, own problems, own merits. So just remember that. I will see you in the next video.